Love that Cerbera. Welcome back to another classic game room lap of awesome. And uh, before I started recording this, I was warming up my voice on the microphone, doing the uh, voice effect from, I think it was Captain America and the Avengers on the Sega Genesis. I'm not sure though, the one where it goes like this. And I thought it'd be super annoying to do the whole review like that, so I won't. Uh, but what I will do is kick ass in this race. This is one of the beginner challenges, the timed challenges in Gran Turismo 6, which they're still putting out now. It's 2016 as I'm recording this. And uh, the more time I spend playing this game with the Thrustmaster T300RS, the more I love that wheel and this game. It's better with Gran Turismo than it is with Drive Club and Dirt Rally. Not that it's bad with Drive Club. I haven't quite figured out Dirt Rally yet, but not that it's bad with Drive Club. It's just really good here. You, you get such a great sense of the road and the weight of your car in, uh, in Gran Turismo 6 with that wheel. A lot of force feedback. And the Cerbera, if you've uh, driven this car in any of these Gran Turismo games, it's been an awesome car all the way through the series, ever since the first one. It's super light, and um, doesn't look like it would be all that fast, but it is. It, it, and it handles pretty well, too. It's a front-engine, rear-drive car, uh, which I think is a pretty predictable car to drive, but I, I'm just going to crush every other car in this race. Um, because it's, it's the Cerbera. And this is a fun course. The, uh, well, there's the Coliseum. So, uh, we go in there and... Fight some wild animals with my Cerbera. Back over some lions and tigers and gladiators. Listen to them scream. And I recorded this like a week ago, so I'm, I'm, I'm behind on this one. Keep sending your car and track suggestions, by the way. I do see them, and when I see them on Twitter, I take a screenshot in case I lose it and uh, save it on the computer. So I've got a whole bunch of them here that I'm, that I'm slowly working on. I play GT6 in the evenings just for fun. Uh, it's, it, it's, it's a nice game to unwind too. Running other cars off the road into trees, hearing the screams of terror. Good times. All right, well, let's get to the, uh, the race here again. There's the nice straightaway. So you need a, a somewhat fast car. I haven't quite gotten there. Sorry, I forgot where I was in the track. Uh, this part here is a little tricky, but not too bad. Make sure you break a bit early in that in that turn so you don't hit the wall. But, you know, it's Gran Turismo. If you do hit the wall, <laughs> really, what harm does it do? You bounce right off. Um, sometimes it might slow you down. All right, here's the straightaway, heading towards the Coliseum. And there we go. I'm going to give that guy a love tap. And then he's in another Cerbera, so I guess I won't give him the finger out of respect. But I'm going to pass this guy in a Camaro. And even though I like a Camaro, I think he deserves the finger. So there you go. F you. I'm going to pass you, make a nice a right and a right here, then just gun it. Because this left-hand turn here is not going to slow you down much. Just gun it right through here, but be careful of the next one because it's tight. And uh, we're going to come down here and run that 100 sign, break. I like to go as straight as possible there and then make a sharp right. And then as, after the car is pointing in the right direction, gun it. I suppose there's many different ways you can... You can drive that. Every now and then I drive an F1 game and people say, I'm pretty good at F1 for a GT driver. So I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I think in F1 you would break much, much later. That server was fun. I played so many races with that in all of the other Gran Turismo games. That one and the RUF, or the Roof RGT, are, have been my go-to cars in the Gran Turismo series for a while. So it's pretty annoying they didn't put a cockpit view in it, but 
I got used to driving with this view, which I can't do unless the uh, tachometer is there in the front. I, I just can't quite... I don't know, I can't get used to this view if there's nothing there. Plus I know how many miles I've driven my car by now, so that's nice. I really don't care about the gas, though. And I'm, I'm going to win this race. Took a couple... Uh, I think it maybe took two tries. I wanted to get a pretty good, a, a good race here for this, uh, for this video. So uh, once again, thank you for watching CGR Lap of Awesome. Send me your track and car requests on Twitter or Patreon. And uh, also look forward to many new classic Game Room Mark III reviews coming soon, including Assetto Corsa for the PlayStation 4, which just showed up. So I'm going to go play it later. Maybe instead of GT tonight. Get your CGR shirts and glassware at ClassicGameRoom.com Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you.